good afternoon students today we are going to see the next something about two port networks so the two port networks is a combination that is having the two connections input and output so we'll see that how the circuit is given So two port network. The heading is two port network parameters. So the circuit is given like this. So. Here positive negative input voltage V1, the current I1, the emerging current I2, and at this side we have positive negative V2, then incoming current I2, then outgoing current I2. So this is two port circuit <coughs> network. So this is output port. Then here it is the input port. Okay. So with the help of this circuit diagram, we need to study the parameters. So those uh, parameters are first one is admittance parameter. That is. Y parameter, then second one impedance, impedance parameter that is Z parameter, then third one is hybrid that is called as H parameter, then fourth one is transmission, so it is called as ABCD parameters. So we need to study the relations between all these three and we have some uh, 60 number of derivations though that uh, derivations I am going to share you that uh, soft copy of uh, notes. So first we will see the impedance parameter so that uh, impedance parameter parameter Z. So the same two port network I will draw once again. This is two port network then plus minus V1. Here is I1 then here I2 then plus minus here it is V2. So the relations between this are we have V1 is equal to Z1 I1 plus or Z11 I1 this is Z12 I2 then V2 relation is Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. Okay, this is the basic uh, equation. So, this we can also write in terms of uh, matrix that is V1 V2 is equal to here it is, it is 2 cross 2 matrix Z11. Z12 then Z21 Z22 into I1 plus I2. So, so if you want to find the Z11 in this equation, what is equation number 1? This is equation number 2. So, if you want to 
uh, find the z11 so i need to play make the i2 as zero in equation number 1 so if i make i2 as zero it will will be found z11 is equal to v1 upon i1 okay. so where i2 is zero so it is open circuit open circuit input impedance okay so then uh, if i want to calculate z to here if i make uh, i2 as 0 then i'll get here z to 1 is equal to v2 upon i1 here again i2 is 0 so it is open circuit forward impedance forward impedance okay then if i want to calculate z z12 so for z12 i need to make i1 as 0 so it is z12 is equal to i get as v1 upon i2 where i1 is 0 so it is open circuit circuit reverse transform impedance impedance then this is z22 this we will get as v2 upon i2 where again i1 is 0 so it is open circuit circuit output impedance okay so <coughs> these are the z parameters we calculate so in the same way you can calculate uh, for the admittance parameters so that admittance uh, parameter relation we have as for admittance admittance parameters it is by so we have the same network same two port network we have we call it as linear network then the current i1 here it is i2 then positive negative here i2 then here it is i1 then plus minus v1 so the relation i will write it as the relation is i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 then i2 is y21 v1 plus y22 into v2 so here y1 y11 y12 y21 y22 are called the y parameters Yes. Similarly, if I make the calculation of y11, I'll get it as y1 equal to i1 upon v1, where v2 is equal to zero. Yes. we need to make this v2 this v2 as short circuit 
okay this v2 if you make the short circuit i will get y11 equal to i1 by v1 and y21 is equal to i2 by v1 where again v2 is equal to 0 okay so in the similar way if i make v1 as short circuit then i'll get it as y12 is equal to i1 upon v2 where v1 is 0 that is v1 is short circuited then y22 is equal to i2 upon v2 where again v1 is short circuit okay so these are the admittance parameters then hybrid parameters hybrid parameters that are h parameters the relations are v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 i2 then i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 so here it is not i2 i2 it is v2 okay it is v2 that is v1 equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 then i2 equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 so again uh, if you want to calculate h11 we need to make v2 as 0 so those uh, uh, short circuit impedance short circuit forward current gain and open circuit reverse voltage gain then open circuit output admittance so those we calculate as like this here so if we want uh, h11 nothing but v1 upon i1 where v2 equal to 0 then h21 equal to i2 divided by i1 here again v2 is 0 then h12 is nothing but v1 upon v2 where i1 is 0 then h22 is nothing but i2 upon v2 where i1 is 0 so just you know these uh, relations so based on these uh, problems we are going to solve in the further classes so better you know the just relations then about the abcd parameters abcd parameters so the relation is v1 equal to a v2 minus v i2 then i1 equal to c v2 minus d i2 ok so if you want to calculate a a if you want to calculate you need to make i2 as 0 so i2 if you make i2 0 it will become v1 upon v2 where i2 is 0 then c is we will get as i1 upon v2 comma then b b equal to minus v1 upon i2 where v2 is 0 then d equal to minus i1 upon i2 ok where again v2 is 0 so this uh, we call it as uh, a as 
open circuit reverse voltage gain open circuit reverse voltage gain then cs uh, open circuit reverse transfer admittance then b as short circuit reverse trans transfer impedance then d as short circuit reverse current gain so just you know this then based on the problems we will solve in the further classes and some 16 type of derivations are there so those derivations i will uh, provide in the soft copy and uh, you can study if you have any doubts you can ask in the further classes okay thank you